Okay, um, I'm back with another video in regards to Final Cut Pro and the crash that's involved with it when I go to um, effects and click on effects or what have you. I'm going to pull it up so you guys can see this. Final Cut Pro. I'm using version 10.1.2. I'm bringing this up. I'm going to wait for a minute because for some reason it needs a minute to make sure everything's in the right place on the system. And once that's done, come on, come on, okay. Now I'm going to select this. I'm going to play the video. As you can see, I'm playing the video properly and doing this process and yada, yada, yada. Okay, it seems to be working on that aspect of it. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed to my left here, but I actually have um, show or hide the effects browser, okay? Um, I'm having, I was having a problem before I made this video um, I made a previous video and I was saying that every time I clicked on that it crashed. If you look at my previous video, I'll put a link uh, at the bottom so you guys can check that out. I'm a little angry in that one, so please forgive me. Still heated, but um, uh, I did some troubleshooting and I believe I found a solution. Okay, so let's talk about this for a little bit. Um, everything, first of all, seems to be working all right, all right, at this point. Now, who knows? Maybe. I'll do something else that will change that. But I was reading um, in one of the forums about uh, somebody who was having a similar issue. Um, he had a different type of system. I think he had a Mac Pro. I have a MacBook Pro. And, uh, and he said that he read somewhere that there was a problem with VST plugins. Okay? And a bell went off in my head because some of the... I, I, in my last video, I explained that basically when I... Re I had to reinstall my whole system. Within reinstall my whole system, I actually, um, uh, Final Cut Pro was the first software that I actually installed on my system. And then from that standpoint, I would check that, it worked fine. Then I would install more software. Then I would go back, check it again. It worked fine. Then I would install other software, come back, and I would do that throughout the whole day, right? And this morning, everything seemed to still continue to work fine on Final Cut Pro. This morning, however, um, I have Logic and I have Ableton Live. Within Ableton Live, there's a couple plugins that I have that I enjoy using. One of them is a native, native instrument uh, pro, uh, plugin. It's called uh, Massive. Uh, it's, a, it's just a music plugin. And then another one's another system uh, plugin that I use. Anyway, uh, when I installed those, um, and then I checked things around and stuff, and that seemed, that stall, that seemed to be working properly, got that installed. Then when I, when I went back to Final Cut Pro, that's when I was having the problems with the crashing. Okay, so being the troubleshooter that I am, and I pride myself on being, pat, pat, pat on the back, um, it dawned on me when he said that, he read it somewhere, I thought, wow, that was the, one of the few things that I installed at the end of it that um, this morning, and I was having this problem. So immediately I went online, and I uh, looked for ways of being able to take and uninstall my massive program and uh, my, another software that I use for uh, as a plugin uh, into Ableton Live and Logic, right? Um, and I went through the process of all installing all of that, right? After I went through that whole process, I come back to Final Cut, I open it up, and it uh, works, and it works. Okay. So if anybody wants to know the answer. The answer of why Final Cut Pro, at least in this aspect of it, keeps crashing because there's a conflict between Final Cut Pro, the way it's designed or whatever, and these plugins, whether they're VST plugins or AU plugins, there's a conflict there. I don't know why Final Cut, uh, the makers of Final Cut, Apple, you guys don't fix this problem, okay? This is one of those problems that I'm not an engineer, but I can tell you right now, it's not a difficult problem to fix, okay? I mean, I can think of things that are much more trivial, much more more uh, complex to, to, to deal with than a problem like this. So you guys should really like, jump on this and get this fixed right away because I'm not the first person that's talked about it. Uh, I've noticed in the forums, let me go back. Uh, uh, let me go to... Uh, let me go to my history here and... Um, find out where, yeah, this this form here, this guy talks about it. Uh, it's in this fcp.co forum. This guy, gentleman here, um, oh, that's how I found him. Okay, very cool. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah, so I went to this forum and, um, uh, and I pulled this up and sure enough, uh, you know, 
he has he's been having the same problem with Final Cut on, on his system. So and and uh, with this, he says on here, he said he read. I also heard there being a reference to audio unit validation causing trouble for some. Nothing to add to that solution uh, right now. Maybe others have some insight. So I'd have the insight now. I get it. I get what the problem is. Uh, I don't think this problem was addressed here in this forum, but damn it, I just addressed the problem. So Apple, do something about this. You know, get this worked out. Um, anybody that wants to know how to um, uninstall your VSTs or uh, UA uh, programs, I'm sure there's um, uh, videos out there to show how to do this. I found um, this one. Let me go back here. I found one for Native Instruments. Um, here it is. It's uh, Native Instruments. It says how to uninstall Native Instruments software and drivers. Um, you know, from your Mac OS. And basically what I did is I just followed this to the T and then any of my other softwares that didn't have an uninstall uh, utility already built into it, I just followed the same procedure for them as well. So basically, since you're in those folders anyway, just look for the other softwares that are plugins. Now, some of you guys live on plugins and the, and the you know, music side of things. I don't know what you guys are gonna do. You guys can't even use Final Cut, honestly. Forget about it. Don't even think about using it. It's not gonna work for you. Um, music users that have VSTs and AU programs. Um, but anybody else that doesn't have, I mean, I didn't have that many VSTs and AUs anyway, and, and Final Cut at this point is more important to me than that. Unfortunately, I have to take you know one against the other. Um, this is the only solution I know of. If anybody knows of anything different or better than this, then let me know. But um, this is it. So um, yeah, I'm still angry at Apple. Um, I'm going to continue to be angry at Apple until they at least fix this problem with the software they've had for as long as they have on this one. Make multi-billion dollar company doing great big things for the consumer market. You need to start thinking about the pros. We are out here, really need to use this software. I've been a guy, like I said in my last video, I've been using Final Cut. I used to teach people how to use Final Cut Studio. People used to call me constantly to use that, okay? Do I recommend Final Cut Pro X to any of them people? I'll let you be the judge of that answer, okay? But fix the problem, all right? Thank you. I'm out. Um, that's it. Thank you.